There are no seven wonders of the world in the eyes of a child. There are seven million. The Farms for City Kids program in Reading, Vermont, brings this Walt Stratif quote to life as it inspires children to learn, grow, and discover their character strengths in its expansive outdoor classroom. The things that we're most proud of here at Springbrook Farm is that we were able to conserve an operating farm here in Vermont and turn it into an educational environment. The Farms for City Kids program is really an experiential education program. Um, it just happens that our classroom is the farm. Our, our classroom is the, the dairy barn and the small animal barn and the woods and the pond. What we try to do is incorporate math standards that they may have to meet in their classroom, their science standards and some of their literacy work and we try to incorporate it into um, an experience here on the farm. One of the units that we talk on are, uh, is the economy and the parts of an economy and the three parts of an economy are agriculture, manufacturing and services and Springbrook Farm is the perfect uh, living workshop for that um, theoretical plan and the kids see instead of just something dry in a textbook they actually touch the milk, they see where it goes, they see the milk truck come to, to pick up the milk and now they understand that when they go to the store I now understand a little bit more of how the world works and that's hands-on application. Academically the farm has really influenced a lot of my decisions um, that I have made recently coming out of high school. I am willing to put forth the effort and work hard which is something that I learned when I went to the farm program. Since we came back from the farm we're a little more focused. Me, I got like on the honor roll twice in these two periods after we came back from the farm. Not only do students learn academics through hands-on farm applications, they learn about themselves and build important and lasting character values. The lesson I learned at the farm was teamwork because you have to do a lot of working together. It can't just be only you alone. A lot of these kids give up very easily in school if they're not a good reader, if they're, you know, feeling tired. These kids were out tirelessly working for hours. I had to take a nap and they were still going. And they, everyone said, if you'll, you know, you'll ask almost every one of them, if you start something, you can finish it and like you know you can do it. You have to face your fears and if you're scared of something, you have to try and then say you're scared instead of just saying, I'm scared, I'm not doing it. It's unbelievable the way these kids transform. Um, from the first year I had brand new students, I didn't know any of them, only for one week of school, and uh, we just became a family. When the students return from the farm, um, Number one, for the students that we've taken from fourth grade that have still been in school in fifth grade, I really feel that they honestly know how to communicate better with students um, in difficult situations. Uh, they really under have a patience, and that patience that they claim that they have for the animals, it translates into patience with other individuals. One of the most important things about the foundation is that we, um, it is our commitment to offer this program at no cost to the schools that are participating. Our primary mission is to make sure we, we access those schools that otherwise may not be able to do it. So kids, regardless of their own socioeconomic status, can come to the farm. You know, there's some kids who are fortunate enough to have ample opportunities to go away on vacations with their families and, and to do a little bit of traveling. And then, unfortunately, there, there are those who stay within their community and really haven't seen the outside of that. And uh, those are the kids that we target to try to take up there and to show them, you know, another type of lifestyle and experience. And it's just amazing how much they thrive. I was in the garden and there's a student and she, where it was time to harvest the carrots and she pulls this big carrot out of the ground and she just, her eyes get huge and she's like, this is just like the Discovery Channel, you know. And there's this excitement and connectedness that the kids do achieve. And so we, we want to find a way to continue that. Hi, I'm Jim Hagenhorn. And I'm Carly Hagenhorn. With your help, we can continue to provide life-changing opportunities for our students. Thanks for your support.